Hello and welcome back to Kitchen and Back. Today we're going to be doing Chong Yoon's Hangouts Signs of Evil. Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yoon, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exercise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. That is an admirable job. It's work that must be done, much like any other job. That's all. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Just you. But nothing else in particular. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. What clues do you have now? <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Sometimes drunkards pass by people's windows at night. That's nothing unusual. Hmm. Unless there was a problem with the drinks, I don't think drunkards would scare the children that much. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? Although they all seem far-fetched, I'd better not tell him that. He seems like quite the persistent character. Hmm. I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. That's normal. The aim is to strengthen the relationship between the two participants. Huh? Strengthen the relationship? Oh, sorry. I, I don't really get it. Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Mm, okay, I'm free now anyways. Uh, thank you. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find a partner. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. <laughs> Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. Let's investigate. 
I think you misunderstood that. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Perhaps it's all just psychological. Hmm, possibly. But why bother exaggerating it so much then? But if this drink really does boost Yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. Dangerous? <sighs> you see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure Yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. You seem like a very calm person to me. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state, which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. Mm, let's both drink it. If you lose control, I'll be sure to take care of you. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. <sighs> so this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. A test of courage. It's an actually dangerous, you know. W what? Please, enlighten me. The participants are just here to have fun. You mean, being scared is like entertainment to them? I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. I see. Hmm. Well, either way, let's check the area for any evil spirits just in case. Where should we start? This is all your fault! This place nearly scared me to death! All right, all right, don't lose your temper. We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Uh, but this is different! Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like, and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, 
show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us... Ugh, no, forget it! All right, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. He's quite the serious exorcist. Yes, and just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. And they leave. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? The point isn't getting scared, it's relying on each other in the face of fear. Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though, so there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. Are evil spirits the reason why Wuong Hill is so gloomy all the time? No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wu Wang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Don't come over here again! Seriously, just leave me alone! W why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down, it's not what you think. No, don't even bother! You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop! Not a step closer! Don't be afraid, I'll exercise it right now! Exercise it? Wh who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? Everyone just calm down. Oh! He's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Nah, it's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? All right, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. They seem to be here to participate just like everyone else. <sighs> I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. Uh, who said you could call me babe? You're so annoying. Ah, uh, so they really are on a date? But why in such a dangerous place like this? <sighs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. She seems high maintenance. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I feel unwell. I think the drink we had earlier stirred the yang energy inside my body. Is it that serious? 
If there's too much Yang energy, I'm afraid that I won't be able to control myself. Even though you were willing to accompany me this far, I don't want to cause you any further trouble. But we finally found some traces of an evil spirit. If I lose control, I fear that I'll be the one endangering everyone here, not evil spirits. We better find somewhere to rest. Sure, just have a rest. I'll continue investigating on my own. Alright. You are an experienced adventurer after all. I won't be far, so just call for help if you run into any danger. Ah, I'm beat. Finally, I can take a break. Ugh. I wonder if I took things a little too far. Few people seem scared out of their minds. Who are you? Huh? Hey, you shouldn't be here. Uh, never mind. I assume you overheard me anyway. I work here pretending to be a ghost, but now's my break time, so I took off my costume. They get all hot and stuffy wearing that thing. It's all planned to scare people, right? Of course. How could there be real ghosts here? No one wants to see a real ghost, neither us nor the participants. You just come here for the atmosphere, or... Should I say, the chance? Everyone wants the chance to feel the thrill of excitement. When people find themselves in a scary situation, they'll say things that they'd never dare to otherwise. That's what the test of courage is all about. I think I understand. <sighs> okay. I should get back to work now. Hope you and whoever you're here with have a fun time. You're back. So how did it go? Did you see an evil spirit? No, I only saw an event staff member pretending to be a ghost. Huh? So that's what's going on here? No evil spirits? No danger? It's all just a setup? It's just for entertainment. You took it way too seriously. I... I see. It seems I've been tricked again. Uh oh, I'm starting to feel more and more uncomfortable. Now that everything's settled here, let's head back to Liyue Harbor. But could you help me walk back? You don't look so good. It's fine. I'll be okay. No, really. I'm fine. Okay, that was nothing gained. There will always be those days when nothing goes to plan. If you've watched this, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.